Welcome to No Keyboard Challenge, where me, Prahunt, is gonna try beat the entire game without using controller or keyboard throughout the entire game. So I can use only my mouse with my one hand and I cannot roll. So this is the 10th episode of it where I'm gonna beat the high block holes. So further ado, let's begin the video. Yes, so after such a long time, I have been making a no keyboard challenge video, like last one was in last year, pretty sure I have not posted any in this year, maybe I have a fiery forge, I don't remember it, that's how long it got. So, basic tip I would like to give is, if you want to just, you know, play this level, uh, make sure you have a pretty good armor. Um, is all that matters in this level to last me because there are a lot of things which are going to deal a lot of damage to you. You have to manage to survive that. So having a better armor is one of the greatest things you need to, you know how, because the uh, guarded illusions are going to spawn and stuff. And even the wards and sniping pillagers. There's no doubt about it that they are really annoying and just outrageous. I made my way to the first uh, ambush place where I just waited uh, some time for just, you know, the uh, health potion. So in case if I get low in health, I can use my potion bear and get away with it. This ambush was not that bad as I thought it would be, like spawning such a horrendous amount of uh, armored pillages, you know? It's, is it armored pillagers? I, I don't even know what do you even call them. What's their real name? Guard pillagers, yes. Now I get it. They're called guard pillagers. So, yeah. I was just expecting that it would spawn so many amount of them. That my bow was really great. The sobering bow got really handy to ask me. Because it dealt so much amount of damage. Plus, it it was just horrendous. Like, I could one shot literally almost anything with it. Like, you know, most of the stuff. And then I made my way to the outer portion of the castle. Or maybe just, let's say, some courtyard kind of thing. Where I fought the zombies and unlocked the enchantment. I mean, enchantment is pretty much a scammer, but yeah, it's fine. They they lowered the cost now. Before it was 250 gold, which literally felt like a scam. Then instead of going for that, you know, key kind of like the key task, I prefer to go in the underground path because it's simple. You just have to fight a vocal or an enderman or a pillager weight captain in higher difficulty and that's it. Plus you get pretty good stuff to ask me. So going this was kind of the right choice because I didn't have to fight that many mobs plus it was an easy task. So then I made my way to crashing the party. That was the objective I had given let's say. So I had to fulfill it. I mean, uh, of course, yes. Um, basically, I was supposed to just continue the level. To ask me, I didn't uh, got that much harder task or harder difficulty playing this level. As I thought it would be really hard to ask me, but it didn't got. Who thought? Then... Basically, the pillagers were getting out countered by my bow. Then, you know, the enchanters, once they are gone, you can just take on those pillagers like it's nothing. They basic like a zombie, but of little like zombie. Comparison to a zombie, but kind of stronger than them. Why am I comparing this to a zombie? There's not even a single episode where I got a good commentary part in any of the episodes. I'm, I feel embarrassed at this point about my communication skills and little storytelling skills. <sighs> but I am good. I'm great at making stories, that's a fact. But, to ask me, it didn't got 
any more hard and I was here to ask me it didn't got even better hard at the final part I mean it was easy confront the arch illusion but he escaped and I got a break forget the footage of outro and stuff so yeah that should be it to ask me I fought them like it was nothing to ask me I did got pretty low at a point but I got recovered from it really fast because you know potion barrier forever yeah votes and stuff got annoying like the final few things but do you remember the obsidian chest if i had the flight quiver uh, uh flight crew gun i meant light f feather okay so if i had that i would have been able to get the obsidian chest but if you want to get that make sure to take a note that you have a potion barrier or good armor or good dodging skills of all of those elegies which are gonna spawn after that and yeah if you're doing this challenge same as me then you do need the light feather yes so i got rid of the trash items and then i was pretty much great i got useless things out of this and i didn't want them at all and i literally wasted so much of my emeralds on literally nothing like it was nothing i i'm pretty sure i grinded so bad for those emeralds and i literally wasted half of them doesn't feel right but that's all i basically did my luck was really bad at this so yes if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button because it helps me out a ton and it actually makes my day. And also, if you share this video, it's going to help my video out a ton because I put a lot of efforts into it. And make sure to check this video out because you will enjoy it. You should watch it for sure. You will enjoy it. Not a disappointing one. So this is me, Pran signing out.